Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my continued coverage of the Samsung Galaxy Tab. This was supplied to me by clove.co.uk, so thank you very much to them. In this video I'm going to be showing you the first turn on of the device and also give you an overall look and feel of what the screen's like and some of the features. So let's just pick this up very quickly. The power button, if memory serves me right, which it doesn't, is on this side, on the right hand top side. So we're going to push that button in. Hopefully we've got some battery juice supplied in the box with the tab, which we have. So we've got some charge there to turn this on for the first time. While that's starting up, I wanted to just tell you that this is running Android 2.2, also known as Froyo. It's got a 1.06 gigahertz processor, 16 gigabytes of internal memory, and support for up to a 32 gigabyte micro SDHC card. Seven inch screen, WVGA resolution, and it looks like it started up already. There we go. It's saying no SIM card, which is correct. I haven't installed a SIM card. It's just to tap that power button again. We can unlock the device by swiping to the right. It's asking me to insert a SIM card to make calls. Well, I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to skip that section there. Uh, on screen keyboard settings. So we can tap on here to bring this keyboard up. Wow, nice looking keyboard. Let's just type in test. We've got some haptic feedback as well while we're typing in. Well, we don't want to make any changes here, so let's just uh, click Done, and then we'll click Next. What have we got here? Wi-Fi internet connection. So we've got 3G network or Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi only. I'm going to keep it on that top option because I am going to put a SIM card in here eventually. We're going to turn on the Wi-Fi by tapping there. And... We're going to tap next, add a Wi-Fi network. So it's going to scan all of the available networks. So I'm going to connect it to my time capsule network and I'm going to put my password in. So I'm going to actually hide this part for security reasons. So there we go, there's my password in for the uh, Wi-Fi connection. And this has got 802.11 A, B, G and N Wi-Fi. So a nice fast um, Wi-Fi connection. It's already connected, so we can tap next. Location consent, well, I'm going to say agree to that, so it can use the GPS. Allow the location service, yep, I'm going to accept that. And then it's asking me to set up accounts, so I can set up a Google account, an Exchange Active Sync email or other email accounts as well, so they could be other IMAP or POP3 email accounts. So let's tap on Google account and pop in one of my Google accounts as the first one. And I'm going to tap sign in. And again, I'm just going to blank this bit for security reasons. So that's that signed into my Gmail account. I'm going to tap on Next. And it's now linked to my Google account, so I can finish the setup. And then I can tap Next. And then I can tap Finish. So that's it, finished. The initial setup's finished, that's now synchronising. Let me just show you that top bar there very quickly. We've got a little symbol here which has just changed to say new email, so it's already connected and synchronising the email. We've got a synchronisation symbol here, Wi-Fi symbol, a little symbol saying I haven't got a SIM card in it, uh, battery strength and the current time. And then if I pull down this status bar, so this is exactly the same as on an Android mobile phone, we have got a new email uh, notification here, and we've also got one Samsung Apps update available. We've got a brightness control, so we can turn the screen up even brighter if we want. Wow, that goes nice and bright. Or we can tap it and set it to auto. So it's obviously using the light sensor to adjust the brightness of the screen. We've got quick access to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, silent mode and an orientation lock. So you can use these quick access icons at the top. And then we can get rid of that notification bar just by dragging upwards. So back to this main user interface, if I go around into this orientation, it does flip the whole screen. How cool is that? So we've got a complete uh, choice of whether going to, to go into landscape or portrait mode on any of the home screens. Five home screens in total. We've got a Google search bar here with voice search as well. We've got a shortcut to an active applications list. We can use the back button to go back one step. All of these are pre-installed. So we've got things like Financial Times, uh, Samsung Games, Samsung Movies, Phone Video, Maps, YouTube Market, 
browser applications and email. If I tap on one of these down the bottom, for example applications, this is going to bring up the complete application list, so this is everything that's installed on the device. And I can tap here to go home, or I can tap on the home button at the bottom here to go home as well. So there's two different ways to get back to the main home page. And then I've got five pages here that I can populate with widgets and icons and put basically anything I want on any of those five screens. So a really nice looking uh, design to this, loving the form factor. As I say, this was really just a first turn on a brief look at what the Galaxy Tab looks like. Uh, something else I just noticed there, I'll just tell you, is you can go completely upside down as well. It's one of the first Android based devices that I've found that you can actually go all the way upside down. Very, very sensitive screen. Really nice. I'm really loving the feel of this device. It feels very snappy when moving in between screens. I'm going to stop the video now. I will be bringing you plenty more videos on the Galaxy Tab including looking at how the camera performs, how all of these applications performs, and also look at gaming on it, emailing, texting, making and taking calls, a look at the marketplace, so a good overview of what the Galaxy Tab offers. Now whilst you're waiting for me to publish those videos, you can pick one of these up from Clove Technology, their website is at clove.co.uk, it's going to cost you around about £552. In my opinion, even at this early stage, it feels like an, a, a top quality piece of kit, absolute glorious screen to look at and a real joy to just sort of swipe backwards and forwards between those various screens. Well thank you very much for watching, please do come back soon to check out more coverage of the Galaxy Tab and more great video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.